Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. <clears throat> and today, we're going to show you how to sample music off of your iPhone into your MPC Live. So, let's begin. First, as you can see, I'm on my main screen. And you can see I have Sampler highlighted on the main screen. So, let's go ahead and click on that. <coughs> now, as you can see, we're not getting any signal right now. Uh... But this is the screen that you're going to end up sampling from. So I have the maximum length set to eight, 18 minutes and 55 seconds. Uh, in case that's the sample length I want. You never know. You just don't want it to cut off while it's sampling something. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and sample from YouTube. So a couple of things that you need to do, right? First, you got to have your iPhone. In this case, I have mine right here. iPhone. Next, if you have a 7 uh, iPhone 7 or up you know it doesn't have a headphone jack so you're gonna need this adapter you're gonna have to plug the adapter this will probably put it in focus you're gonna have to plug it into your iPhone all right now next after that you're gonna want to make sure that you have either RCA cables that connect to a headphone jack like this one this is the headphone jack. Headphone jack goes into the iPhone like so. All right. And then you're just going to need, like I said, a RCA output for the back or a line output. So you can do, you can sample from RCA or you can do line. Uh, just know that the audio is going to come from your iPhone into the MPC, right? So once that's all connected, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn up the record volume in the back. Now, I'm not going to flip the MPC over to show the record volume until the end because I want to make sure it stays in focus, but I'm turning it up in the back now. Now, as you can see, the green bar, it's moving a little bit. There's no audio coming in, but as I move the volume, you see the green moving a little bit. So I'm going to turn that up back in the middle. Then if you have headphones plugged in, or if you have your master outputs right here, um, you want to make sure you turn on monitor so that you can monitor the audio as it's being recorded to make sure that it's not clipping or anything like that because then you'll have to re-record it. So from there, let me go ahead and open my iPhone. All right. And it's just a random audio clip or whatever. But I've got monitor on and I've got this down. So I'm going to press play. All right. Now you see that jumping, right? So that lets me know that I'm getting audio signal. Uh, all I have to do really now is press record and I'm going to do that now. All right. So you guys can't hear the audio at home, but trust me, it's working. Rest assured. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. I don't have any headphones or anything plugged in. I just know the process. So I know that it's being recorded. Um, that should be enough audio. All right, so the default name is new sample one. It's not gonna be on a program and the root note is C3. So I'm gonna keep that. All right, then I'm going to pause the track on my iPhone. I'm doing that now. All right, now just to check to see if it recorded, I'm gonna go to sample edit. All right, and I see a new sample. Now, because I kept the threshold so low, the uh, the waveform looks like this, right? But if I press process, go down to normalize, boom. All right. And you guys can't hear the volume just like I can't hear it because I don't have headphones or anything plugged in or running to the camera. But we've recorded this off the iPhone. Just to show you one more time, I'm going to trash this. See, now we have no samples loaded at all. Then I'm going to go back to sampler and I'm going to hit record again. Monitor still on, uh, the record volume still up. All right, it's recording, but no audio is going. I'm about to press play. All right, so now the sample is recording into the device. <clears throat> All right, going to save that again. I'm going to choose a different name this time just because. Cool. Go back to menu, sample edit, and you can see that audio tail is still there from when no audio was coming in. 
now we have this whole clip and there you have it so that's how you sample music from your iPhone or your Android device onto your MPC Live or your MPC X just to show you the back of the console to make sure you guys get a full picture and to highlight the whole thing remember you want to do phone to headphone jack to this cable right here which in this case is a uh, headphone jack to line outputs I think it's called a 3.5 millimeter whatever output to uh, line outputs so since I'm using line outputs and excuse me if this gets out of focus but you see right here right I have my line outputs right here and I have the RCA outputs right there and the record volume is up all right so the record volume is up it has to be up in order to record then I have my outputs right there and then I have the master volume right here if I want to hear it through my headphones or anything and these are for uh, my speakers so yeah man that's it that's how you record audio from your MPC live into or excuse me from a phone in, into your MPC live from YouTube or whatever other e-digging sources that you use so hopefully this was helpful uh, this is drum machine addicts and we will check back in with you guys next week don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend peace <laughs>